so we are going to start the next chapter already by we have completed the first chapter now i am going to start with the second chapter acid bases and salts we'll start with the acids acids so what are acids we have seen different types of acids in our daily life all those which are having sour taste acidus as acids they got its name from the word acidus how do you how acids were accidentally discovered see when the uh, i told you about alchemists chemists who were doing experiments to convert other substances into gold when they were doing such experiments they came to across with a different chemical substance different discoveries different laws they created so many things so among that one was acid so this uh, discovery belongs to an unknown scientist actually this man is was a complete drunkard night full he was drinking and he kept open that bottle of uh, that uh, alcohol in the night and next morning he consumed it he saw it was having a sour taste and he called acidus that means sour in taste and from that word came the word acid acids are substances which are sour in taste and we know that all food substances which are sour in taste are containing some acids like uh, our uh, citric acid which is present in lemon or uh, citrus fruits all are uh, sour in taste and they are so all acids are sour in taste sour in taste that is the first property of acid all acids are sour in taste last year we have seen acids will turn blue litmus to red they turn blue litmus to red blue litmus to red so see this uh, this blue litmus x uh, help us to see whether the substance is acid or base because seeing a substance looking at that we cannot find whether this is see whether this is acid or base what we do is we use certain substances to identify whether that given substance is acid or base and such substances which by either by color change or by order change order means smell by the change of smell or by color they show that whether the given substance is an acid or a base the such substances are called indicators indicators one of the indicator is methyl orange we have studied in the, in the lab we use this indicators methyl orange which is having an orange color this if you add this to acid in acid it becomes red in color in acid becomes red in color in base it becomes yellow in color in base this will be yellow so methyl orange it is in acid it is red in color and base it is yellow in color then phenolphthalein phenolphthalein in acid this is having no color it is colorless then in base it will be having pink color so in acid it shows no color change and base it will be having pink color so using a color change they are indicating the presence of acids and bases so they are called indicators and there are olfactory indicators because that indicators which denote the color the change the acid or basic unit by using a change change in smell for example vanilla onion etc onion juice they are all olfactory indicators they detect or they show the presence of an acid or a base by a odor change or a smell change smell maaru e acid or base or add either so if by smell change if we are they are showing whether this, this is this is an acid and this is a base such indicators are called olfactory indicators so by looking at other other is one of the other some sort of blue litmus blue litmus will turn to red in acid so that is also an indicator so such as uh, substances are called indicators so acids will are uh, sour in taste 
they are they turn blue litmus to red then acids react with the metals to give hydrogen gas acids react with the metals react with the metals to give hydrogen gas to give hydrogen gas we will go to this one more you to take zinc zinc granules take zinc granules and add acid you will get a colorless odorless gas which when burn will burn with a pop sound sudden plus 2 hcl will give you sudden cl2 plus h2 hydrogen gas the gas will burn with a pop sound <clears throat> so metals will react with the acids to give hydrogen gas but there is an acid which will not give hydrogen gas with acids that is nitric acid nitric acid when it reacts with the metals it will not give hydrogen gas because nitric acid is a good oxidizing agent so it for example copper plus hno3 you will get cu no3 twice plus h2o copper will react with the so copper will react with the nitric acid it is you are giving only nitrogen dioxide gas not this hydrogen gas or zinc zinc also react with the nitric acid to give zinc nitrate is it an no3 twice plus h2o plus no2 you will get nitrogen dioxide gas so you are not getting hydrogen gas so only nitric acid will not react to with the metals to give hydrogen gas but two metals like a magnesium and manganese magnesium and manganese it is they react with the dilute nitric acid to give hydrogen gas no other metals will give hydrogen gas with the nitric acid so all the other acids react with the metals to give hydrogen gas except concentrated nitric acid concentrated nitric acid is a very strong oxidizing agent it react with the metals to give only nitrogen dioxide gas not hydrogen gas now so other metals they react with you see what is happening when metals react with acids to give the hydrogen is replaced by the metal hydrogen is replaced by the metal and the substance used is formed is called as salt you will get the salt and hydrogen so zinc react with hcl to form zinc chloride and hydrogen this is salt the <clears throat> in uh, another metal you will write fe plus h2so4 sulfuric acid will give you feso4 plus h2 plus h2 this is also a salt so the hydrogen of the acid is replaced by the metal and you are getting a salt salt and hydrogen gas so this is the third property of acids so acids are sour in taste they turn blue litmus to red they react with the metals to give hydrogen gas now the fourth property is they react with the hydrogen carbonates and carbonates or bicarbonates and the carbonates to give the hydrogen carbonates or carbonates carbonates metal hydrogen carbonates and carb hydrogen carbonates to give carbon dioxide gas for example hcl plus nahco3 sodium bicarbonate or sodium hydrogen carbonate to give nacl plus co2 plus h2o now hcl 
और एन ए टू सी ओ थ्री विल गेट एन ए सी एल टू एन ए सी एल प्लस सी ओ टू प्लस एच टू सो यू विल गेट कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड वाटर सो दे रिएक्ट विद द मेटल कार्बनेट्स एंड बाइकार्बनेट्स टू गिव सॉल्ट कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड वाटर सॉल्ट कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड वाटर सो दिस इज द रिएक्शन विद द हाइड्रोजन कार्बनेट्स एंड कार्बनेट्स दे गिव कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड गैस इज ए कलरलेस ऑर्डरलेस गैस व्हिच व्हेन पास थ्रू लाइम वाटर टर्न इट्स मिल्की सो दैट्स हाउ यू कैन टेस्ट द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड so as this are the properties of acids acids will turn acids are sour in taste they turn blue litmus to red they uh, react with the metals to give hydrogen gas they react with the carbonates metal carbonates and bicarbonates to give salt carbon dioxide and water so these are the properties of acids and what are indicators indicators are substances which will give show the Change the whether the acid indicate whether the substance given substance is an acid or a base by either by a color change or by an order change. We have seen different types of indicators in used in lab. They are methyl orange and phenolphthalein. Methyl orange will show a yellow color in base and red color in acid, whereas phenolphthalein is colorless in acid and pink in base. Then there are olfactory indicators will. Well, that in the substances which will give you a change in order when the substance is acidic or basic. Now, then next property of acid is acids react with the metals to give carbon dioxide, sorry, hydrogen gas. I told you, but there are, there is an acid, concentrated nitric acid or nitric acid, which will not react with the metals to give hydrogen gas because concentrated nitric acid is a very good oxidizing agent. it will react with the metals to give nitrogen gas dioxide a gas nitric acid is reduced to nitrogen dioxide gas so it is a good oxidizing agent now <clears throat> and then but uh, there are two metals magnesium and manganese which are react with the dilute nitric acid to give hydrogen gas now metals react the, the salt the salt is obtained when salt is obtained when acid react with the metal carbonates and bicarbonates or They are, they are formed also, also when metals react with the acids. So these are the properties of acids.